Hi, welcome to another video. So today I'm looking at the Avego AWSR1611 High Current Solid State Relay. Uh, it's got a MOSFET output capable of running AC or DC loads. Uh, and you'll see here, I've got the input here from the microcontroller, 3.3 volts with a 1K current limiting resistor on the development board, ground, and then the output. 30 volts running to high power LED. So I got uh, this relay from Farnell. This is the part number just there, and they cost £2.77. Uh, and I'll show you some of the advantages. Right, this is the data sheet. So you see, it's made by Avego. Uh, 60 volt output, 2.5 amp, 0.1 ohm on resistance, driven by MOSFETs. So I'll show you the equivalent circuit drawing. So you get opto isolation. I'm driving 3.3 volts in. I initially used a 1K resistor just to limit the current to less than 5 milliamps, but to get the high speed switching of up to 2.3 milliseconds, I had to reduce the resistor to 470 ohm. At 3.3 volts, that gives me roughly 5 milliamps here. And you can have a 60 volt load here. Because there's two FETs, you can have AC or DC. Or if you're just using DC, let me scroll down to these others. So DC only, you can join the two outputs together and double the output current to 5 amps or AC. It's using both those FETs. One FET switches the positive half cycle and the other FET switches the negative half cycle and that's the effective circuit drawing. So easy to turn on, as I say, for AC circuits. That's why this would be superior to just one FET switching on the load. Uh, about two, £2.77, as I said, to buy and simple to wire up. So you see on the output of that solid state relay, I've got 25 volts at the moment. This is a 30 volt high power LED. You can see load in series actually, and just simply running it off the microcontroller. Got a 470 ohm resistor there. So if I just turn this up a bit, so that's 25 volts, now one up to 30. Well, that's now running at 30 volts. And you see the current, that power supply is a bit slow to update. You Actually, if it's on constantly, it peaks at over 300 milliamps. So you can see 260, 270. It's actually because I've got it turned on, on and off quickly. We don't get an accurate reading, but it peaks at over 300 milliamps. So just a couple of millivolts in from the microcontroller and then an isolated 60 volts or up to 60 volts up to 5 amps for DC 2.5 amps for AC that's just stopped because the picture was refreshing on that screen there but so that's it simple solid state relay small input current and large output current with voltage So in case you want to see the code, it's RB14 underscore bit equals 1, on for 200 milliseconds, and then I'm turning it off. And if you look at the data sheet, you have to allow at least 3 milliseconds for the thing to turn on before turning it back off. So depending on what you're driving, AC or DC motors or anything, maybe you just want to turn the light on, leave it on for a few hours, but this will certainly run down to 3 milliseconds. So hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you very much.